Hello there guys and welcome, Matt from Jazzco Consulting here and today I'm here to do another Microsoft Teams video. So in this one we're going to look at an app called Mural. So what Mural does is it's pretty much uh, either templates or base uh, models I guess for collaboration, strategizing, teamwork, all that sort of stuff. So let's get straight into it. So I'm going to add a new channel to my marketing team. I'm just going to call it Strategy. So then from there, it's very, very simple. We're just gonna to go to the plus button here and of course add in mural. So then prompt us a little thing here, which then we get to choose what we wanna do. So I'm gonna create a new mural, um, we'll call it tester. And then there's all the templates we can choose from. So there's heaps and heaps and heaps. Um, you can just choose whatever you'd like. Uh, let's go just a creative matrix just to show us for one of these ones. So then it will form a nice little template for us and obviously as I said there's heaps and heaps of those templates so you can just run through any of those and find the right one which will work for your collaboration. So this one's super simple, this one's probably going to be used for a um, whether divisions maybe so we might have the marketing, sales, IT, that sort of thing and then their tasks maybe or something like that. So I'll show you what you can do. Um, we can double click to make one of these sticky notes. So it pretty much uses these as like the general base note. Um, and in this we can type, so let's just write sticky note. Um, then we can increase the size of the text. We can change the text, change the format, all that sort of stuff. Borders, no borders, color change, pink. So we might have something, you know, it's important as pink, all that sort of stuff. Um, we can zoom in, zoom out. And we can also add a sketch mode. So we sketch, switch, sorry, to sketch mode. We can do that. Just have like a little smiley face. And now that will be in there for us. And so now we can just zoom back out. And so if you wanted to write something or draw something or however you want to do that, you can do that nicely. Um, also, see this one actually has even labels. It says category related to people, category for solutions. So that's really cool. Uh, another feature you can do is add a voting session so we can start a voting session. So say we might have had five different ideas, we can say what, you know, which, who, which person had the best idea and then each person can vote and then we can go with that idea, something along those lines, as well as create timed sessions. So we might want five minutes of quick collaboration time, let's have a quick brainstorm, let's set a time of five minutes, we can add a minute, take away, uh, sorry, add five minutes, end the timer, super easy, something like that. Um, so that's it for this one guys, I'll show you just another template as well, just for fun, just to show you the different ones, but um, yeah, as I said, there's so many, you struggle to get through them all. I'll just call this one, um, just back, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and then I'll show you, let's just have a look at a, it's an organisational chart template, something like that. So as it loads up, there's heaps of different things in here, all of which we can look at. But yeah, so this is just the sort of things we can do, guys, like add in names, see who's the boss, whatever's going on, different structures. It even helps you um, how to duplicate, how to do double click, all that sort of stuff, and what an example might look like down here. So oops. Um, yeah, so it's super easy, guys. It'll tell you everything you need to know. We can edit it, we can change things around, all that sort of stuff. Helps with a lot of collaboration, as I said, and teamwork for you there, guys. So if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them. But that is all for this week, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you so much, and have a lovely day.